Grab a beer and pull up a chair. Welcome to the Northwoods Beer Guy Podcast. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Northwoods Beer Guy. This is Mike, the Northwoods Beer Guy. Ooh. I know we talked about it last week, but I'm, I'm sticking with it until I get a letter. And once again, we are here in Jim's compound, his basement compound, slash, uh, or also known as the recording studio. <laughs> And Jim is here, right, Jim? Yes, I am here to be with you one more time. Awesome. I'm hopeful. I am. S- My fingers and toes are crossed. I'm kind of surprised you came back because <sighs> we have six more Shiner beers. And Mike, and- you promised me. No, Shiner promised us. You actually, didn't promise they did. me? actually, they didn't. Did you promise me? No, I just saw it. I thought it sounded good, and I'm hoping these ones have a little more flavor. Because last week, if you listen to last week, if you haven't, go back and listen to last week before this week. Because we're hoping these are better. Yeah, we were a little disappointed. We were they, nothing was terrible, but nothing was outstanding either. So yeah, there was a little lacking in that one aspect we like uh, flavor. Yes, and goodness. <laughs> and all of the craft all the beer, all the yes. craft beer things we want. Yeah, so it's uh, we're hoping again. This is Shiner came out with a home for the holidays twelve pack, twelve different beers, and it said that they were twelve returning favorites. Home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. So, and like I said, I, I saw it. I thought, man, because we couldn't find a new advent cal- craft beer advent calendar so i thought hey this is going to be very similar and uh yeah so we were, we're gonna i mean we hoped we i we mean hoped. we were went into it with both feet and we're going into it this week again hoping right i mean <sighs> my finger i mean we, we can't be any More less <laughs> flavorful than last week can we <laughs> right. is it well, is it possible well they Uh-oh. were they were all very muted um say what Okay. Yeah. 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 They, they were, I think it was sometimes, you know, I was thinking about this last week, this entire week, I should say up till today that maybe again, it was designed for the new, a new craft beer person. Oh, cause it looks like one of these is from the original brewmaster, right? Right. Right. It's named after. Is he, he was named after you, right? Nope. Cosmos. No, that was after the. Cosmo Kramer from oh there from you that go. TV show that <laughs> that we won't say the name and get in trouble. There you go. All right. So well, hey, let, we're, we're gonna just jump right into it to start with, and then we'll get into some stories. But we're gonna jump into one here. This is Shiner One Hundred and One. One Hundred and One Czech style Pilsner. It's four point eight percent ABV. Four ingredients and a, what does that say? <laughs> it's either a, must be a hundred and one years of know how. Oh. Because I think last week we had one that said 106. The birthday. The birthday one, yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this must have been a style or a beer of theirs that came out, well, at least five years before that one. So. Well, so it's aged well then. Yeah, exactly. So let's see. It says, simple things aren't necessarily easy. Ooh. In fact, when it comes to brewing, it's tough to brew great beer with just a few ingredients. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Just but, a few. Hopefully, it's got water, right? <laughs> yeah, well. But fear not. At the little brewery in Shiner, we know a thing or two about refining even the most challenging of old world recipes. This Czech style pilsner is brewed with barley, hops, water, yeast, and 101 years of brewing experience. Here is to sticking to your roots and keeping things simple. Prost. So did we have some good Czech style yes, pilsner we, that, yes, we did. that our friend and, and co-host Toby yep. had tried and said they were like superb. Right. Some of the best Czech beers he's ever had. Yes, we did. So, so is this going to be on that same quality? I hope so. Uh, all right. Well, oh, did I? Four point eight percent. So 4.8. hopefully, kind of falls in line with those, and is like right up there. Superior taste. Yeah, one can hope. Our fingers are crossed, right? Fingers are crossed. All right. All right. So all right. It does have a goldish, goldish color. A, he, kind he, of a kind of a white head. A little bit of an off white. I mean, it's not yeah. snow white by any means, but it's not that dark. No, it smells like a pilsner. Is that? What that yeah. is? Nope. <laughs> Darn it. <sighs> Swing and a miss. You know, <laughs> Ouch. I'm not I'm not surprised. But oh. again, it's not offensive, but there's just not a, a whole lot of anything to it. There's nothing there. It's just like almost like cold water. Because, yes, you know, when we had, well, 
we did the, the German style, which yep. we had some Czech beers, and then we had the imported. Oh, yeah. That we, you and I did. Yep. When we had that great big, and we had some Czech style beers there, and those were good. definitely good. Yes, I mean, very good. You know, uh, and now, how do you. <laughs> yeah, well, um, why don't you go first? Oof. Well, I'm going to learn my lesson from the previous episode, and I'm not going to overshoot my boundaries here. I'm You're gonna, not starting high, and then I'm going to I'm going to come in safe and say a 2.0. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm way overstepping. I'm man, you know, again, <laughs> I'd love to say it's average at best, but it's not a, a two five. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's there's just not a whole lot to it. And again, I just <laughs> I'm so. Dumb. Um, I'll go with 2 with you, Jim, because I, I just, I, you know, it, we got room to, to work. It's, I mean, there's man, no way. You know, if we wouldn't have had some of those other Czech beers that we had, that, <laughs> so we didn't know what to really compare right. them to, you probably, we probably would have thought, oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> but since we had those, especially the, the imported ones, yeah, it's, it doesn't, this stack isn't up even to those. in the, no. Same conversation. I, Shiner, I apologize, but it's just it needs more flavor. I don't I don't know what else to say. And that's been the reoccurring theme so far with this box. Yeah. We're because I I'm just waiting to try to nitpick the flavors apart to say which <laughs> right. which one I like better. You know. And we can't even do that. Yeah, it was tough. Last week was tough and, and we're the way starting, it's starting right now, I think it's gonna be tough. We, I, we I kinda stubbed our toe right off the bat. We well, even, again, I think uh, we tripped coming out of the banners, out, yeah. of, out of the <laughs> yeah. dugout. We, we tripped be, and uh, fell. And we didn't even get up to home plate. Yeah, it, it's uh, yeah, interesting. Oh. Interesting. Well, hey, so two weeks ago, I saved you from trying seltzers oh. and canned cocktails. So, oh, say that one again. Canned cocktails. Cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> canned drinks. Okay. No, I've never heard of that. Yeah. And... You had those at your house? Somehow. Oh, people, really? Hold on. Oh, somehow, really? Somehow, groups of our friends show up and leave just random Kansas stuff at my house. Because well, I have never I think, bought. I think you may have bought some no, of these. Oh, oh, nay, nay. Oh. No, no. So check my fridge. Well, because you probably oh, left them at my house. No. You might be the one. I don't have anything like that. So if it doesn't say bourbon barrel one. or I hear you, I know. I know it's not it's not from here. I don't know. There's you know there's cameras where you, you check out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they bought it though. No, you bought it. I did not buy oh. it. Oh no 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 no. You know it, it's so you had accumulated. A, we had a, and I and I'm like you know I got to clear up my beer fridge. So we got to start drinking more of my beer. And I looked in and I went, what is this? So I'm like, well, we got to get rid of that. So I pulled a bunch of it out. And I will say this. Now, the seltzers, eh. But some of the, the canned drinks right, uh, actually weren't too bad. Would I buy them again? No. <laughs> I wouldn't buy them, but oh, did, they weren't folks, bad. Folks, did you hear what he I, just said? I misspoke. <laughs> did I you just hear what we have this on tape? See, the thing that's, tape. The thing that's funny Mike is. Mike said he bought them what i, I said B-O-U-G-H-T. i said would i buy them again meaning would i actually buy them the first time oh you know, no no you can say what you want uh, i i take it face value you can say what you want i do the editing i can cut that all out you won't know <laughs> you won't because you know because you I, know you bought them you know you I know that you I wanted to not, taste them i did not i you, don't think i did they couldn't <laughs> have been a Freudian you know, slip where you no. actually said that you did it no, oh, I don't know, but. folks, you be the judge. You send him an email and let him know if he said it or if he didn't. Who do you believe, folks? Send a, Yeah, send me an email. <laughs> do you believe me or do you believe Jim? I think that Mike secretly bought them and he forgot that he did because he's been like secretly trying to like, how do I try these without anybody knowing? And he did. He bought them. He bought yeah. them all. Yep. And I tried to blame whoever, my friends, my group of friends that left stuff at my house. And we only leave good beer at your house. Oh no. There's been a lot of cruddy beer that's been left in my house. You don't bring any grown up salmon though. No. You don't. Right. You don't. I'm not saying you've left cruddy beer. We've had other people have left cruddy beer. I've tried to give you the Some top of those people shelf. have probably left cruddy beer at your house, too. Just that we have no, other friends. I get, that, I get better friends. Than we that. have other friends that will yeah. drink that cruddy yeah. stuff. <laughs> so. I start with Mike and give it to him. Yeah. If Mike will drink it, anybody will drink it. No, no. That's not it at all. That's terrible. So what was the outcome of the uh, okay. undesirable beers? Uh, well, Susie, Susie. So... I tried to get you, but you were combining. Yep. You know, doing farm stuff. Uh, I tried to get 
Brian, the other Brian. Oh, yep. But he was BS. his his schedule has been crazy. And like I said two weeks ago, that I I talked to him. And he we're going to get him back on and uh, do some more right. stuff with him because he he's a newer craft beer guy but he's he's coming along too and and uh like i said i we come he on. probably would like some of those ones from last week he probably would have so my wife was gracious enough to say i'll do it because again she just she can't, filled the breach she filled the yep and and she can't drink normal beers right well she can drink a russian imperial stout but not like a pilsner because then oh. she gets sick after she had surgery on her achilles don't ask me why oh, it's shit. the craziest thing <laughs> so anyway uh it I survived, <laughs> and a couple of them weren't terrible. A couple of them, I, yeah, they weren't good. <laughs> but it was it was honestly really interesting to see uh, that market, which has kind of really took off, right? Uh, to how the how different they are because I shouldn't. Well, yes, how because you know there's a hard soda, which is a seltzer. There's a couple another seltzer. There's a vodka seltzer. Then there, you got into these hard cocktails, which one was a tequila paloma, which hmm. honestly was <coughs> the one. I, and I, I had said in that episode that I didn't rate it as high as a couple other ones, but that's the one I'd say you should try that. Honestly, because really? it was just the flavor was kind of unique, and it was like wow, you know. But it was it was interesting, you know. And Susie did a great job, I thought. And we've had some comments that they wanted to hear her again. So, oh, hey, you know, and are I, you losing your job? Your possibly, hosting job? You know, I never thought of that. I thought <laughs> I thought maybe my co-host was losing his job, but maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe, yeah. It's, she might want to take over. Could be. Yeah, never uh, know. All right, well, we better try another beer well, before we get too I need, far. Now that you said that, I'm kind of depressed. I'm yeah, going to have a beer. Yeah, he better. <laughs> all right, well. So what are we? what is the next victim? The next one in our unbelievable box here is Shiner Kolsch. Kolsch-style beer. It is 4.9%. Ooh, our highest one today. Oh, this is only the second one today. Oh. Mm. <laughs> 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 well, okay, there you go. All right, let me put my bifocals on. This small batch brew is the fifth beer in our Brewer's Pride Craft Brew series. Ooh, all right. Kolsch beers were something popular in the 1800s Ooh. in Cologne, Germany. And we're proud to honor our old world roots through the warm fermentation and cold aging of each and every drop of Shiner Kolsch. Refreshing effervescence Mm. and a clean, crisp finish make it an ideal choice for a warm day or a warm day full of sunshine. Is it like ambiance? You can get that at Walmart? Yeah. (laughs) Effervescence. Effervescence. You wow. might be able to get this at Walmart. Shiner, wow. Col- There's a lot of talk there. We've had Kolsch. And, and that's got the hoo-ha on it, right? Well, the O, the, the dot, um, dot. The umlaut. Umlaut. Oh, I, I mentioned that to Susie. The hoo-ha. Because the, there was one of those other, the uh, neutral oh. was the name of it, but it had the umlauts over the U. And I said, yeah, those are umlauts. And when I mentioned it to Jim, I blew his mind. Because they had hoo And she said, really? <laughs> Yes. They had some hoo has Yeah, on it. a couple hoo has on it. All right, well, we've had some col- a number of Kolsch beers. So right, well, this is... I know what I'm expecting, but... This is, uh, looks lighter. Yeah. It's got a white head. It definitely has a white head. All right, well... And high expectations. Not a whole lot of aroma. <laughs> There's no, not much aroma. What do you got there, buddy? I got nothing. <laughs> You're pulling a blank. <laughs> We've had Kolsch beers typically have somewhat of a weedy, right. wheat, wheaty, <laughs> wheaty <laughs> flavor. Not weedy, but wheat. And, and you get the, and what do you get? I get pretty much not much of anything. Uh, do you agree? I mean, <laughs> it's just, oh man. I just, you know. We try. We're trying. Again, I, I really had high hopes for this box. And right now it's <laughs> We're really our- kind of, this is our. Eighth beer out of this box. We got four to go, and it falls right in line with the other ones. There's just not much flavor to it. Yeah, there is like, I mean, when you say little flavor, I mean, how much are you saying? This one here, would you agree, may have the least flavor that we've had of any of them so far. I'm not even talking just today. Last week and today. 
Yeah, this is. I'm struggling to come up with something. I don't. I don't taste anything. Not even. Uh, not even the aftertaste. The finish. The beginning. The middle. The end. The- I. You know. I respect Shiner for being around for as long as he's been. Spatz. Spatzel. But the Shiner name and such has been around for a long time. But I just. I. I really wish that they had when they came out with this box that they would have had. You know, beers that had more flavor in it. Right. I mean, because it's right now through eight of the twelve, it has just kind of been a little bit of a disappointment. And I apologize. I usually don't like to say that, but nothing's been offensive, but nothing is. I, I still, I can't recommend. either. Nothing yet? Nothing yet. Yeah, this is just so bland. There's nothing there. It's just like, it's, it's like, how do you, how do you brew a beer without having flavor? Right. It's yellow. <laughs> yeah. Know? So I, mean, I don't know, man. I just. So what do you got for a score? Oh my gosh! How do you? I'm going one nine. You're gonna drop? I'm dropping down because there's just nothing there. You're going below. You went below the threshold. Yeah. You, know, you went into my sour threshold. I know. I I just and I I'm sorry. I I don't. I, I couldn't go above the other one because the other one had a not at all hardly any flavor, but it had more than this one does. Wow. I think. Yeah. <laughs> you know. And the other one it was two. Yeah. I. I uh, what was our sc- so last week? Yeah. My scores were from a 2-2 two, two to a 2 out, And I'm, I am totally sure this is going to fall right in the ball. These are going to be right in that same thing, probably. <sighs> I, uh, I hope not, but I'm thinking. I'm going 1.5. Mm. Um, you, like, drop the people's elbow on it. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm, I, I can't. There's, there's just no flavor. <laughs> there's nothing. Man, I don't. We got to try another one here to see if there's something. Maybe it's our taste buds or something. I don't know. I'm just like. Do you think the Do you think the barrel aged beers killed our our taste buds? I don't know, but something is not. There is nothing. I mean, not even like all of our non craft beer friends could drink these. Beers. They would love these, right? <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Well, I'm going to tell you what. We're going to jump right into this next one. Hopefully, this this is a hey, whoa. Uh oh, what this one says, Shiner. Cosmos Reserve. This is a reserve beer. Reserve. Yeah. Uh, What's it reserved of? 5.0 ABV. Uh, I am going to look this one because I believe the rating is a little bigger on my phone. So I apologize. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, there we go. All right. This is, like I said, Shiner Cosmos Reserve. This is a pale lager. Pale. Pale lager. Okay. Cosmos Spirit. Spatz, Spatzel, Spatzel, knew how to brew great beer. Born in Bavaria, Cosmos, Cosmos's mastery of German brewing. Did we say who Cosmos was? Uh, well. He's the original. I was getting. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Yep. You're... Thanks, thanks for ruining the surprise. Oh, I thought you saw the picture. <laughs> All right. Cosmos's mastery of German brewing carried him as far as Egypt. 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 Before he found his way to the small Texas town of Shiner, our proud brewery still carries his name and commitment to excellence in brewing. This full-flavored hop-jacked lager is every bit as unique as the man himself in our way of saluting the brewmaster who started it all. Mm. And he does have his picture. I'm guessing that's him. I'm taking their word for it. Yes, yes. Uh, So he has his picture on the on the bottle, on the label. So, and it's what it was five percent. So, so oh, so I, well, I forgot to write that one. It was five percent. And what oh, was the the Shiner Cosmos Shiner Cosmos Reserve Cosmos Reserve? All yeah. right. So yeah, we apologize as well that we don't have much info, but we looked up this box. Jim did, and I did, and there is, online internet. The only thing we I found was here. Buy it here. There was right. no. Details. Information on the beers, and and then we looked on uh, Shiner's website as well, and there just there was nothing as far as you know descriptions of these beers or anything. So it was really a kind of a weird thing, I yeah. guess. So I'm hoping. Come on, beer. Come on, beer. We're rolling the dice. Very very faint hoppy smell. <laughs> very faint. I don't smell a hop, dude. Folk. When when I read, I don't smell a hop. Jim, when I read about the hoppy lie, I'm like, it's going to be a very, very slight aftertaste. I bet. Nope, <laughs> don't even get it on the aftertaste. What did you get? Nothing. <sighs> I'm so upset. I'm disappointed. Not upset. So we're at number nine. We're at nine. We're at dude. nine beers, and we haven't got. We haven't even got like a hint of flavor. These three have. We may have got <laughs> the best flavored ones last week when we, you know, we haven't even. Man, 
We haven't scratched the surface of flavor. Shiner, it, it, I hope, you know, I, again, I like your stuff. You know, Shiner Bach is one of those iconic kind of beers out there. But when you when you do a Home for the Holidays box, put beers in it with flavor. Especially, <laughs> and not, again, last week, the biggest flavor was probably the peach one. That had the most aroma, most flavor. But I don't think Christmas That's, and think peach, you know. Didn't That's align me. at all. It didn't. Right. So I don't know. But this is supposed to be happy? <laughs> I don't know. That's what it said. There's no I mean, hop. I don't like I mean I you know you know me. I'm yes. not an IPA guy, I'm yes. not a hoppy guy. And I'm straight up gonna have to say it, there's no hops. All I don't right. taste hop. I, I mean say, if there is, it's last week we had the one that had very <laughs> faint on the at the on the aftertaste. You could taste like on the the very other, they waved the hop over it. Right. This one I don't get that at all. Anything like that at right. all. Yeah, it's oh, man. I'm so upset. Nothing. Nothing. Not a not even a well, whisper. Oh. Yeah. So, well, let's score this and let's talk about something else for a little while. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, uh, you go first on this one. Oh boy. Well, I think I think there is a touch more flavor than the Kolsch. Okay. The Kolsch. A touch. Kolsch. I'm gonna go one point six. All right. I, I don't know. I, I I got nothing to describe it with. I don't know. I, you know, it's it's um you're right, but I get when it's when it talks about hoppy and all that and there's I'm gonna go a one seven. I'm gonna go down even though it does I think it does have maybe a little more flavor, but what you're expecting and what you got were two different things and it's just just not there. Not there. Yeah. It, you know what's weird is it almost tastes like a sour pickle. It tastes like, like something. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it, I don't know if it's a sour pickle, but it's just like a faint, like a yeah, really yeah. faint. I don't know, and it's still not even. You know, the one thing I can say so far about this box, nine beers into it, from last week and this week, if a person had never tried craft beer before, they would probably like this because none of these have been over the top, big flavor, anything like that. But well, but I think like we talked about before that for us, you know, we we're always wanting people to try bigger yep. craft beers. Yep. If somebody would try these, it'd be like, so is that what a craft beer tastes like? Correct. You know, so. You're right. Because we always yeah. want them to try something that's got a little bit of flavor, not over the top, but like good flavor. Correct. I don't think we've. I mean, we're, have we found one that's got a good flavor? You know, we're the first per, first people to say your first craft beer should not be a barrel aged anything. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? These big, huge flavors and, and high alcohol and all that. But you're right. I mean, nine, honestly, nine, nine beers, beers into this and. Really, there's not one that we could recommend. So I, I'm I still, I'm I like, I agree. like again, I, I don't know how I'm trying to do this in a very politically correct <laughs> way, so I don't sound too offensive. But when you're, if you're the brewmaster and you taste these and it's done, I'm, I'm like, I'm struggling to say, how do you say, let's keep brewing that? You know, it's like, like let's let's change something up. Let's add a little bit more. Put a l- little bit more flavor. You know, if you put a pound of this in. Make it two pounds of this. If it, yeah. you know, it's something. And you're right. I mean, because this, especially when it has reserve on the label. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've and, had and some it, good reserves. Oh, yes. And, but, I mean, when it's talking about that, and it's got the the, the original Brewmaster's picture on there. And, and and it never honestly said that this was, like, his original recipe. Oh, true. Right? So, you'd have thought, I would have thought that you'd have had, like, this is like probably one <laughs> the, of your the best, best of the best. Beers, correct. correct. And, and usually what we've had before like the reserve is your barrel aged one you took when your you best see, stout and you put that in a barrel and you aged it when you see brewer's reserve yep you know it's that's gonna that's be gonna be a good one a good one and, and you want to try it and this one yeah. yeah it didn't it didn't come through so we're nine in oh, we're boy, nine in you know, we're struggling with this this is like this is this is harder to judge something like this than it is like the bad ones or the really good ones, because mm-hmm. these are so nondescript. This is this last two weeks. These have been the hardest two weeks so far for me to score beers. <laughs> because, exactly yeah. because of that because there's very little difference in them. They're little, and, and, and 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 not only them, but they're like so middle of the road. Correct. Every one of them has been. <laughs> And it's just like, okay, what am I trying to? Can I find something to <laughs> talk about you to know? say to describe it? Yeah, it is, we, oh, it is just rough. Because I mean, we've got 
three. We got three to go. Three swings left. And one, the next one, I don't know even know what it is. <laughs> Did we look that up to see what it is? We couldn't. Neither one of us could pronounce it. Correct. Did you look it up? Well, right. maybe on. Wait a minute. I'm gonna look on the back of the bottle here. Oh, there's some writing on there. Is it ready? Look it up. Yeah. All right. So, well, let's talk about something different oh, okay. here for a little bit. So, again, a couple weeks ago, I was battling through the beers with oh, my well. wife. Yep. And you were combining. Yep. So you got all the combining done. Everything's and done. Awesome. And put away, cleaned up, nice. packed, put away. Nice. So, because you had both, you had beans and corn at the farm this year? or Yeah. It, it was a very, very tough growing season. Well, so did not get any beans. You know what's funny? Not It's not funny. So the, the the gentleman, our new old farmhouse that we bought in the land there, uh, we have some crop land there. And the, 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 the gentleman, there's like three guys that have been farming it, I don't know for how long. Okay. I think it's quite a while. Right. Uh, but we, the one gentleman came over to talk to us about continuing yep. what he was doing. And he said, yeah, it was, it was rough this year. Yeah. The beans were, and, he, and what he said to me, and correct, you know, maybe I want to like your opinion on this. He said, he said to me, he goes, you grow beans in August. Right. And he goes, and we had no rain in August. That's and when they get the pods fill up. Correct. That's when they, yeah. And I was like, okay, it makes sense. You know? And he had said too. He goes, the thing that was weird though was because remember I told you that I saw where they had did like a little bit of a strip on one, right? And they were checking the moisture. Yep. And at that point, it was nineteen percent, which is too um, high to harvest, right? So they're talking there. They're talking about the the amount of water in the bean itself, correct? Right? Okay. Yep. You want to be close to that thirteen is okay. where you want to be at. Yes. And so they made that strip and. They came back. It was almost a month later. When, well, when they combined the whole field, yep, it was still at seventeen percent. He goes, and he said, he goes. So he goes, it's it's almost like because remember we did get rain right a little bit. Yep, after like late. Yep, he goes. It was almost like they were trying to <laughs> make beans, but it was too late. Yep. You know, so they weren't, but he goes, we had to get them out, you know, so then they combined it. I just thought that was interesting that, because, well, when, when you and Julie came over and brought your, your side by side that time, remember the the beans, they were still green. Yes. And then the next time I went over, they're starting to turn yellow. And then you, when you came over. Almost like the drought started really kicking. Correct. And then you guys came over again and they were looking really, and on the outside, the pods were there, but then there was like very little Tiny, Little bitty bumps tiny in beans, there. And, yep. yeah. You know, so I thought that was interesting because I didn't really realize that beans are more like I don't know if he's telling the truth where you grow beans. They make beans in August. He's, well, I think know. that's when they they fill out. Right. So that's when they need the I mean, most the moisture. Plants, but the the actual pod itself, the pod itself and yeah. the bean inside there. Yep. When it's they get the moisture. Yep. So and I had the same. You had the I same. I mean, mine were experience. only. Total probably six inches high. At some really? Oh yes, my it, gosh! So I didn't want to. I could have probably scraped the ground with a yep. combine head, which is not always good either. Right, I mean, you're right. always running a lot of risk. So I was like, beans are very what's a good word? Economical to plant. Okay. So it doesn't cost as much. There's a lot less field work required. Oh, okay. okay. So to leave them, and it'll be easier for the deer that are left for the hunt. Sure. The, the remaining that. Yep. can use that for the over the winter. Yes, they can claw in there and eat those. So, I'll just leave them for the deer, whatever's okay. remaining. Okay, yeah, you know, like I said, it was, and I can I can only imagine like because uh, like I said, we only have like seven acres of right ourselves of cropland. You have more right, but you know, there's like the 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 farmers that are the huge yep. farmers around us. I can only imagine. I'm sure they dealt with the same thing. Yep, you know, so you just wonder what what that's going to do for moving forward, you know, will the price of beans be affected by that? Or Well, or, you would think so, but like when I was checking, yep. prices are still probably the lowest they've been in a couple really? of years. Yeah. Oh so gosh. still hasn't like bumped up at all. Wow. So okay, I have a, another question for you. Cause, and this is funny. I was, I think I've asked you this before, but where was, Oh, it was when, I, when we were in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, we were at one of the breweries, and I believe it was New Realm. And there was these two guys that were sitting at the bar by us, right? And one guy was saying how he was a farmer. Oh, and he was talking to this younger guy. And no, no, yes, yes, okay, that's what it was at New Realm. And he was talking to this younger guy, and he could kind of tell. I give the 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 quote unquote farmer credit because right. he 
he had patience with this guy. <laughs> you know, he's a millennial. Oh. But he was talking about corn. And oh. he's like, so, uh, is that corn edible? Or? <laughs> and the guy goes, well, yeah. And he goes, well, I mean, what do you, is it like people corn? And he goes, <laughs> he's like, well, no. He goes, a lot of it gets sold to other countries to feed their animals, and we feed our animals here with it. Right. And it was kind of over <laughs> his this millennial's head because he didn't put two and two together, oh. thinking, oh, wait, you're talking like beef cattle or pigs. Right. They or... don't just live off Correct. nothing. Correct. So I, I do remember asking you before about like field corn, What what is it used for? Because it's not sweet corn where people eat sweet corn. Right. And I believe that's what you told me too, was it's like silage or you feed it. Right. You can animal cut feed. it for silage or you can wait till it dries completely down and then yep. take the grain off the cob. And then it's easier to store that way. Yes. Yep. And, and it's funny because again, you know, we have COVID chickens. Yep. Because the school wouldn't let us dump them off. Uh, <laughs> but in the winter, I do feed them a mixture of normal chicken feed and then cracked corn because it helps keep their body temperature up. Uh, but the one thing that, and I want to try this because okay. right now the last probably week and a half or two weeks, we haven't got any eggs. Oh. And my wife looked up online and she found... A, if you want to say a recipe, but there was somebody on there that said, hey, you're not getting eggs. And people always say, oh, it's winter. They, they uh, you know, they quit laying as much. Uh, and this lady has said, no, you're, they're not getting what they need. Oh. And so she had like a recipe and it had your your normal chicken feed. Right. And then there was, I, I got to remember, Susie had sent it to me, but it had chicken feed. It had rabbit pellets that were like high in oh. something. And then there's like wild bird seed and something else. And she goes... I'm getting more eggs than I've ever dealt with. So I got the recipe, so I'm going to try uh, it. to see if you get some eggs Because, yeah. Because, again, the eggs we get from those chickens are unbelievable. But right now, and it's always been in the winter, you just... You but, I mean, how long is it, does it... Do they... Does it impact moving them around? Like from I, one, I honestly think it did. Because, I mean, that I mean it's only been a little over a month, right? Right, right. So does and that I, impact their... Well, that, surroundings, environment. I, I think that did something to them as well. And you're 100 percent right, Jim. Because well, we had to chase that one chicken around for <laughs> 45 minutes, but I do think that did something to them. So I, I I'm going to try it though, and just see if maybe it'll right do something. And we still don't have the entire three piece coop together. Oh, uh, right. You know what I mean? So we we ended up wrapping the 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 main part that they're in for this year. Okay. And. Uh, just to keep, you know, to protect them from the wind and elements and such. And then in the spring, we're going to connect them all together again. Right. So I think that'll help as well. But so I don't know, you know, anybody out there, if you have experience with chickens too, if you've seen something with, like I said, it, it was just weird to me because it didn't have anything about corn. Okay. The only thing I've ever heard about corn is it just, it raises right. your body temperature. And, but I could still mix some corn in with it, but then it had these other things in it too. And if it, Helps get more egg production. Hey, I'm all for it. And I know, I know that chickens only are only produce so many eggs okay. in their lifetime. Right. And I don't know what's going to happen when they reach that because then they're a burden. Right. It's like the dog and the cat. Yes. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but let's try the next beer. We'll I don't know. It'll yeah. be interesting. So yeah. Okay. So so what are we on? We're on the frost. Frost. Jack Frost. Well, maybe it says Shiner Frost. It's right. a Dortmunder style. Dortmunder. And I don't know what a Dortmunder is. Let's see. Beer. Again, their printing is so small. Beer made in the USA. Batzel Brewing. Shiner, Texas. 5% ABV. All right. All right. Let's see. Brewed for the cold. Oh. All right. December. Weather. When the weather outside matches the weather in your fridge. Oh. Uh. Well... In Wisconsin, for like six months out of the year, it's colder outside than it is in the fridge. So, right. Let's see. When it matches the, in the fridge, you know it's time to enjoy a nice shiner frost. Okay. This deliciously distinctive. Ooh. All right. Seasonal brings a hint of malty sweetness. Malty. <laughs> malty. That quickly fades to show a crisp, hoppy character. It's chock full chock. of frosty goodness to pair perfectly with frosty days. 
Well, all right. When, well, there's a lot of good words in there. It's, it's been chilly, so we'll see if this matches. Right, there's a lot of good words. It's, yeah. it's hyped itself up again. <laughs> right. That we're gonna get a heck of a beer here. We're gonna get a unbelievably good beer. All right, let's see what color it is. Well, it's uh-huh. it's kind of a. Is that amber or no. is that brown? No, it's uh, like a golden ale kind of golden ish. It's not very dark. Oh, come on, Shiner Frost. All right. What's this? What's the aroma? Exactly. Dortmunder has left the building. <laughs> well, um, huh. I would love to say it has more flavor, but I'd be lying. It tastes like a lager. You know what I mean? I mean, like, there's not a, there's not much. <laughs> is there I'm, anything? Dude, I'm trying to give it something. I don't, there's nothing there. Is it? I Either just, my I taste don't... buds are shot or there's nothing there. I just don't get it, man. Wow. I don't. God, how how can you... Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never had a craft beer before... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. You see that? Ooh, what's that? Hang on. On the neck, it says, best served cold. Oh. Yeah, well, it's cold. Uh, Yeah, well... Best that's... served cold, huh? That's the best... Man, I... <laughs> this is... I have no words. I mean, there's again, nothing. If, there's if, nothing there. I would recommend this to my friends that are die-hard big beer brand drinkers because they would not be offended by any of these, like Miller Light or Bud Light, Light, Bud Light, Coors, Coors Light, Light, whatever, Bush Light, Bush Light, any of that stuff. They would not find any of this offensive because there's not flavor. <laughs> you know, Ugh. I'm just I'm trying. I am so trying, dude. And I apologize. I thought this was going to be good. <laughs> Honestly, I thought this box was going to be amazing. But I just... What do we got? We got two left. We, you know... We've done how many? Jim, we've done a do, six and four, right? Do this for me. Ten? Do this for me. Go and grab a, another... We're going to... Uh, just a random beer. All right. And we're going to put it on the end because <laughs> we need something with flavor. We can't do a po- two podcasts in a row no, without. People will quit listening to us if they hear the same thing. And uh, no, I will bet you anything. Next week, when we do the Sam Adams one, right, it'll be a whole different thing. I think it's. I'm uh, hoping. Gosh, it <laughs> can't know? be anymore. Oh, Shiner Bach is a decent beer, right? But Shiner, I, again, Batzel, Spotzel, I apologize. Um, I, I'm not. We're not ripping on. It's just we we have been in. To craft beer for a long time. Yes. We've drank a lot of craft beers, a lot of high octane craft beers, a lot of big and flavors, felt- a lot of even some bad ones that are big flavors. And we're not afraid to score anything high. No. If it's and, got a good flavor. And these have all just been so extremely muted for flavor that it's just, it's, this is, like I said before, this has been the most difficult two weeks I've ever had to try and score beers because there's just nothing remotely different. Yeah, I you mean, know? these first four, there is nothing separating them. Well, the first ten. <laughs> you know, well, we did have the peach. Well, oh, a little the, bit, yes. A little bit of the I chocolate apologize. one. I apologize. The, the chocolate one and... <laughs> The candied pecan had it was at least <coughs> sweeter, and then the peach. The peach one had the most flavor, right? Aroma. So I would say three of them that had a little bit of flavor, and and the other seven no, have right. been very not so much. Yeah, we're on our tenth one, and you couldn't. And I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I don't think, in my heart of hearts, I could recommend one of these to somebody. Not at this point. I don't know. I I could be totally wrong. Well, like I said last week, the only reason I even recommended the ones I did was just because they at least had flavor. <laughs> but would you recommend one of these so far? No, or these four? No, not at all. And that's the sad part because Shiner's yeah. been around for over a hundred years, right? I mean, we're and we're trying. We're I mean, giving them the benefit of the doubt. We're doing everything we can to like reach out there and figure out what's yeah. the flavor. It's just not. There's just there nothing. You need flavor <laughs> to have. Uh, say something about flavor, you know? I mean, this is, it's like, how do they cover up the flavor without, with, when brewing a beer? That's not know. easy to I do, do, is I it? I don't know. I don't know. So, Frost. <sighs> Fro- All right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead there, big shooter. Uh, oh, jeepers. Um, 1.8. I <laughs> <sighs> There, I don't know what else to say. I, I just I I don't I got to look up and see what a Dortmunder is, but I guarantee that's way less flavor than a, another Dortmunder if we tried it. So one point eight, yeah. Are we there. in the sour, my sour territory? Well, the sad <coughs> the sad part is, 
is, yeah, we're in the sour territory, but for different reasons. <laughs> you put the sours there because they're bad, you right. think. These I put there because there's just nothing no. to them, you know? And before in the past, and I'm the first one to say, because I always say, well, if there's nothing to it, I give it a 2.5. Well, everyone <laughs> would have been a 2.5. Right. You know, so. I'm going to go a 1.7. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing a dart against the wall. <laughs> exactly I, what I'm doing, dude. Oh, God. Man, I just. What, what do we, uh, so we got two to go yet. Yeah. Well, and then I brought then, the, I brought another one out. All right, you grabbed another one. So okay. So we this have one, something that I think will have flavor. And this might even be Christmas ish related. Mm. So gosh, we I'm Hey, hoping. I'm looking forward to that oh. now. All right. Hey, look, this is by Shiner. Shiner. Yeah. So, all right. Well, let's see what they got for this flavor. Is Shiner. Okay. Uh oh. This goes back to when we had the uh, German beers and all that, so it we tasted. have we have reference. Yes, tasted pretty good, right? Yes, this is the Toby sh- thought they were correct. The, the previous ones are authentic, had very Import, good. Well, we we had those imported. Then yeah. we, you and I had some imported. Yes, and tasted good, right? Very much so. All right, this is Shiner Bavarian style amber. Bavarian now, amber. I don't think we had a Bavarian style amber. No, I don't think so. But 4.9% ABV. I will bet you anything that this <laughs> this could be muted. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. And I'm... Wow. Um, you look at that. Okay. I'm going to look on untapped because that writing is little. Holy buckets. Yeah. And I'm, it's not even in the good... No, it's... Yeah. I'm, let me... All right. So it let says... Let me see what I can This find. small batch brew is... Capitalized bold. Ooh, okay. The eighth beer in our Brewers Pride Craft Brew Series. Okay. Um, originally brewed as Shiner 98 Anniversary Beer. Oh, okay. This Bavarian style amber combines roasted Munich malt okay. with rich German hops. Okay. To create a refreshing craft brew deja vu. Oh. I think I heard that before. Well, so they have got some poetry <laughs> going on here. They were a poet and didn't even know it. A complex little is the, the is it, it's either B E A R or B E E R bear beer. Well, it could be bear mold. bear or beer bear, bear made I using mean, old world techniques. Shiner Bavarian Amber has a distinctive hop floral aroma, okay. and a smooth finish, and now it's. Yours to co- covet. Oh, all over again. God, those letters the, are well, and you the, couldn't read the letters are small, glasses. and then the color is like really. Oh, I mean, these words gosh. are really small. Oh, <laughs> you know, if you're drinking that without glasses, I don't know how you can even read them. Well, you know, all right, here we go. We're, we're we got here some we high go. hopes. Yeah, we got high hopes. Kind of the uh, same color as everything else. It's 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 yellowish. Uh, it's kind of, it does have a little head. Little head, kind of a um, not exactly. It's not white. It's not white. It's kind of an off-white head. Yeah, it's kind of your. It's not like an amber. My opinion, that's really. It's darker than a pilsner, yeah. but it's not like a normal amber, right? Reddish. Right. Tinge so maybe there's to flavor. It. There's no. Yeah, probably there's, no there's no aroma. There's no aroma. <laughs> there's, no aroma. <laughs> there's very faint <laughs> aroma, uh, or I should say flavor. Uh, <laughs> so. We have had some very good ambers. Is this some very good? Am- no. I, let me finish my story. There's some very good ambers, and they they have a stronger flavor. And again, this is pretty muted. Oh my gosh! Oh. I think when I pee an amber, it <laughs> smells more than this. <laughs> Dude, really? <laughs> this is just kind of. So we're at how many now? This is eleven. Six. Well, five, five, five today, eleven and overall. Six last week, five, yep. and overall. we're still nothing. Yeah, not even like whoa, it's there. It's nothing. Hey, breweries out there, um, wow. if you're, if you're gonna do a Christmas box, and again, I the 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 thought behind this, I really oh, like. I, I really like to this day. I think that yep. was a great idea. 12 bottles, 12 different beers, even you know, even if it's if it's ones you make now or you made before, whatever it is, I thought the the concept was amazing. Yes. Yes. But and now I think when I bought this price-wise, it really wasn't that expensive. Okay. So you got took is what you're saying? No, no. I I would I would way 
pay more money if I knew it was 12 different beers that were all amazing flavor. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I would pay a lot of money, but what I paid for this one is may have been a little high. <laughs> right now? Knowing there's no flavor? <laughs> right now. Um, I, th- I can't remember. I'd have, to, I'd have to try and look back if it was, it's probably like 20 bucks or something, you know? And I think you got took. Yeah. Well... Yeah, but like I said, you know, what, what I, I hope if there's a brewery out there and you're listening if, that you do something like this, get in touch with us because we'll, for we'll next year, we would free. love to try it. We, we'll buy it. We would love to try it. We'll buy it. more than one. Yeah, we'd love to try it, you know. We'll even tell you, hey, skip that one. Yeah. Get a different one. Because like I said, these are just all So of these just... first five, what, what stands out in these first five? <laughs> Nothing. Honestly. I mean this this is <laughs> this has been harder than last week. We're not we we have we sniffed a two once. We're not Today? even you're talking? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're not boy. even we're not well, even we're not getting there on this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't say that. Sorry. I didn't mean that. Well, since you said that, what'd you score uh, that? Uh I'm gonna go one nine and hit a little more flavor. One nine. Oh, Gosh! This oh, is... no! The first one we gave it to. Oh, so I said we sniffed. Oh, yeah, we, we, yeah. we the, the two went running by. And we sniffed it. Boy, what? I tell you what. What do you got? To, what? It's it's just for an amber. There's is there some good there's some good out there? ambers out there. They have way more flavor than this. Um, again, it's very muted, and I I think that's this whole concept of this box has been very muted beers which has been for you and i is not a good situation you know and ladies and gentlemen i mean you've heard us this is episode i think it's 37 now and we're yeah we're, we're not afraid picky, of, but we're we're not afraid of no, taste are we or no, flavor we will score beers you know and, these and we'll are, try beers we'll try oh, yeah. and and 11 beers into this box there's just we have one beer left we have one beer left, and we've had one beer that we said, "Yeah, that taste, that was flavor," and it really <laughs> didn't make any sense to have it as the holiday beer because it was right. peach, you know. Oh. So I just, oh, uh, what are you doing on a score, boy? Oh. Did I score this one? Yeah, oh yeah, I did. You, I gave it a one nine. You really jumped up there. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I don't think I can go yeah. there. I, 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 I'm going to one point five. It there's nothing there. I, I can't even even if this I sanded is, my tongue down and tried again. I still can't come fl- with flavor. There's it's nothing- just all of these beers have been so muted for flavor. You know what I mean? And, and, that's, and, your, that's your common theme is muted. Oh, I know. And that's <laughs> a sad thing. It's not a good thing. <laughs> for me, I'm saying non-existent flavor. Well, there you go. That's the same thing. <laughs> same thing. It's just, there's... There's just that nothing has stood out yet. So of you know, so of the five from today, is there one you're going to recommend? No, could you? Not, I could not at all. With a there, straight face to somebody, with to if I was going to, could I recommend this to our listeners? Yeah, any of them? No. Could you recommend point, this holiday box? No. Uh, well, I could recommend it to our listeners as being if you take it to Christmas at. You know, a relative's house and they've never drank craft beer before. Yes, you could do that, and you're and you could try and introduce them. Here you go, and you're but, not. But it's not a close relative, though, right? It's like <laughs> you're distant, you're right. A third distant, or fourth cousin, a distant cousin that you really don't care about. <laughs> yeah, but as far as you know, what I say, oh, run out and buy this box if you've been into craft right. beer. No, I, well, you, I couldn't you could, do it. You couldn't, couldn't do it. it. Not at all. Could you? Is it? Can I? Can I give it to you for a present? <laughs> You probably would, yeah, yeah, because you like, because yeah. you gave me the, I gave you the round the world tour, the beers of the world, and I think we talked about that one time, and that was a that New was twenty four beers, that was, it was, and they were all horrible. No, I tried, I tried most of them. No, you didn't. You tried like three of them, and then I drank the rest of them, and they were, and a lot of them taste like dirty feet, and it was terrible. And this is before this is this was honestly, I think that was when. Very, very early on in our craft beer, yeah. That journey. I don't think there was. I think maybe there was a few Lining Kugels ones out there, not in that box. No, 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 no that were like being oh, yeah, made. Yeah. But this yeah. was like no. And I don't remember. We got a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. But they were. I mean, and they were from different countries. Mexico. Yes. I can't, did you? Did you, Mexico, did you log those in your Untapped? I don't believe so because I didn't. I didn't have Untapped at that time. Uh, I'd have to look because I was on another app at the time, and I might have, but I don't think so. I don't think I was on it there because that was early on. Was it? That was very early on, and I don't think. I'm pretty sure Untapped wasn't even around. Uh, well, it would probably didn't even have cell phones. We had like dial. <sighs> yeah, yeah, but those were. We're bad. 
it's really bad. So, so are we gonna try this next one to see? Yeah, we got one to go, so we can finish it. Oh, <laughs> Let's ladies put and a... gentlemen, I tell you. So, what. do we have like a shotgun we can put it on its misery? Oh. <laughs> Shoot it and be done with it. Oh gosh. Well, at least we know the style. Okay. So this is Shiner Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. Hef. It says honey with honey added. With honey. Oh wait a minute! I gotta oh. read some more stuff. Wheat ale. Say it again. Wheat. Wheat. Brewed with orange and lemon peels with honey added. Really? Yeah. Five point four percent. Five point four. Five point four. This is the second highest ABV from the entire. I'm, I'm going to read the first three words on the back of this label. The are first you, three words. Are you ready? Can I, can I strap in? Yes. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. This refreshing delight. Ooh. They better come through. They had better. This refreshing delight. You want, me to, okay. you want me to continue? Well, you've got. So I'm. Yeah, I have so, your attention. I'm worked up right now. I have now. your attention. I'm worked okay. up. Okay. This refreshing delight is the perfect. 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 Tribute to our Texas. German roots brewed with orange and lemon peels. Our slight spin on this classic German brew. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> when you're when you're building something up and you put the word slight in it, that tells me these first five is gonna match up with this bad boy. Okay, you're, you're thinking that's what I'm thinking. All right. Okay, uh, the slight thing. Uh, uh, German brew. Does it say muted? In here? Has, no, not yet. Has a cloudy appearance. And a silky smooth flavor. Wow. Okay. There's more. There's more. Added honey helps this unfiltered wheat ale pair perfectly with a wedge of lemon. A wedge. A wedge. Uh, not a wedgie. Not a wedgie. Just a wedge. A wedge. Gosh, we need we need something. So okay. we need something with some flavor. So first off, okay. you know my track record with honey beers. Is you like them. Overall is not the best. But most of those are shandies. Correct. Right? Correct. They're, they're not a Hefeweizen. No, they're not a Hefeweizen. So this has got to mean it's got to be better. Got to be better. So it's definitely a whitehead. Shiner Hefeweizen. With it's, is it kind of orange-ish? Is that, or is that yellow? Yeah, one of the two. I got no aroma. <laughs> There's no aroma. You agree? For, for orange and lemon? And honey, yeah. Shouldn't there be? I get nothing. I get nothing. And I tasted it. I have slightly more than nothing. <laughs> Man, I'm so upset, dude. <laughs> this is a whole box. Box of beers. 12 for 12. <laughs> we got nothing. 12 for 12. They're all, how do they do that? I don't how know. can you make it? I just, ladies and gentlemen, again, it, and it pains, it pains <laughs> me. I know it pains you too. Because Shiner's a respected name, but this entire box, it's, I mean, like, again, like so I they, said. So they called this the returning favorites. 12 returning favorites. Home so, for the holidays. 12. So what do the bad ones taste like? We, we might find out next year. I don't know. If these are the favorites? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like I said, you know, oh, I just, if, if it's a person that's never had, and I'm not lying, if you've never had a craft beer ever, buy this box and try it because there's nothing that's super high flavor, super high alcohol, super high anything to where it's going to chase you off, you know, but... If you get it and you're and that you're that person, right? That you have never tried but, it, don't think that this is how these styles should be. Right? Because normally just, there's. But flavor. if you drink this, you're gonna go. I want another one of those. Are you gonna say that? Me? No. Any person alive? Well, I suppose if they're normally drinking that other stuff, maybe. But yeah. So if we found See, one, you're gonna recommend to somebody? No. These six, no, there's not a one of these six I could recommend to anybody. <laughs> I um, mean, like, even your worst enemy. No. I wouldn't even <laughs> recommend these to you, Jim. Not at all. You wouldn't even give me these. No, <laughs> I wouldn't give these to you again. As a Christmas present? No. No, I, if I bought you one of these for Christmas, I'd go and just chuck it. Oh. So that's the sad part is. Gosh. This is a Hefeweizen. Yeah. With orange peels and lemon. And it, it does not taste like a how, how do you I not have? I mean, I don't know, dude. I mean, we have had beers that are orange flavored, lemon flavored. They're like, like in your face, you know, like, bam. How we do you, had, how like, do you, I don't know how you do that. How do you cut the flavor? Well, just like you said, we've had Hefeweizens. When you drink it, you know, yes. it's a wheat beer yeah. Hefeweizen. <laughs> yes. And this one. But the wheat has a distinctive style. 
when you when you taste an actual wheat beer, you know the next time you taste it, you know it's wheat. Yes. This one, it's like faint on the finish that it's maybe wheat. That's I mean, it. the difference in these beers right now is just the color of their label. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Have we said that? <laughs> no. We yeah. Boy. Um, Are you gonna throw a dart lady, out here? Uh, la- uh, score high, boy. Uh, I'm going to one five just because <laughs> you're even going a, down. Yeah, because for a Hefeweizen, this is there's no. It doesn't taste like a Hefeweizen. It's so muted or whatever. What do you say? <laughs> um, shoot. Well, there's no uh, flavor. So, yeah. You know, there's. I mean, I, it's. Uh, I am sorry, Jim. That I, you know, I thought I had so high hopes for this box, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I. So we might to take would, this out in the I, driveway and burn this? the box. Like I said, would I recommend this for our normal listeners that are into craft beer? I honestly, I would not. And I'm sorry, Shiner. I, I I never want to try and steer people away, but I just, if you're into craft beer, I don't think you're going to like this at all. You know, so Jim, oh, what do you think of the, the Hefeweizen? It's not. It's not a Hefeweizen. It's not orange Hefeweizen. It's not lemon. I'm, I'm going to have to go 1.4. I think it's lower than the other ones. Yeah, it's well. I think did I give it lower? Than, yeah, yeah. You gave me I gave the lowest one too, because we've had a lot of Hefeweizens. Yeah, and so I, this well, does I think we taste, talk. This does not taste like a Hefeweizen. I think we talk about the twelve. Yep, the whole box, and then we maybe we can maybe this beer that we brought out the bonus beer. Yep, the maybe the bonus beer will help cheer us up a little bit because I'm hoping this that, this box. That was not a level. That I, have we ever? I don't. I'm trying to think back, even before the podcast. Yep. If there's been a time when we've had a batch of beers where both both of us, one of like there's like if we do a sour, I'm usually a lower. You guys are a little bit higher. Yeah. Yep. But both of us have rated them below a 2.0. Is there? Do you remember well, any time the podcast part, or not podcast? No. No. The sad part is the highest ones we did. Was the first one at a 2.0. Right. A 2.0. <laughs> That's a high. That's a high. That is unbelievable. I mean, we don't, I don't, well, because I don't track my numbers, you do, but I don't think that we're, we're not trying to be difficult in our scoring. We're. I think we're trying to be honest. Yep. Oh, that's the whole thing. That's we've always been honest. And again, I think there there might be people out there again that I think this is aimed more at the people that are not have not tried craft beer. Right. They're not big into craft beer. And they're hoping it's like a gateway to get into craft beer. Is what I'm hoping. <laughs> Because otherwise, if it's not, I think they missed the boat completely on all twelve. You think this so, can I recommend any of these six this week? No. Not at all. I would not recommend Would you even it. like it? I would not recommend a single one of these to anybody that, you know, no. Have you ever said those words before? Nope. No. What have you, what is your saying always? Recommend a beer to, so get more people into get craft beer. Get more people into craft beer. Would you do that? Well, again, if they've never had a craft beer, they could try these because they wouldn't be offended by it. But I think all of these styles, if they tried this, they're going to have a totally wrong, they're gonna, a totally wrong opinion of that style. And then when they try another one, they go, "Oh, that's <laughs> terrible!" No, this one was not good. The that's other one is correct. One. Correct. Correct. That's my opinion. So, what do we do about our summary here for this? Do we? I can you recommend one? I can recommend we burn the box <laughs> into my driveway. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. But if, so, I think we're in agreement. That these six, I mean, we just, we can't, I, I, in good faith. We can't even say which one's good. No, because they're all, these ones, and again, it was blind. We just pulled six out last week. We got these ones left. They were left over. And I just don't, there's not a one of these six that I can recommend. No, I'm, you know, so. If I recommended somebody, they would pull my, my craft beer card. Yes, we would take your card. So. I can't. Now, luckily. Luckily, halfway through, you went to your beer fridge, and I found and, one. And found one. Since we're in December, we're we're close to Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, we've always had very good luck with this. So my only hope is, I think I've had it since last year. I hope it's got it didn't spoil. It's been in the fridge. Um, what, what does it say? It is called. Uh, this is Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Peppermint Porter. Oh, Porter. And it's made by Shiner. No, I'm, oh, I'm, messing, I'm oh, messing with you. Oh, that hurt. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I'm messing with you. It is by Lexington Brewing. All right. And uh, it is, is it 8.2%? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. So it's got a. Should I look? I'm going to look it up. Okay. There's yeah. not. There's not much writing on not it. Not much writing on the All right. on the bottle. So I'm going to look this up so I can hopefully they have a uh, description so we can give the people a good description. A good description. Okay. Wow. So I'm guessing they use a lot of the same uh oh labels? The barcode. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. We got something? Yes. Porter with chocolate and peppermint aged in bourbon barrels with notes of bourbon toffee. Oh. Bourbon Toffee complement the roasted malts. Get ready for a peppermint patty taste in a barrel aged beer. All right. Well, so I'm not. My expectation is low. You you've well, read so many different ones that said it was going to be. Here's this. Here's that. I'm thinking. I'm you're not right. gonna. I'm not gonna even get my. I'm not gonna get hyped up for you're nothing. You're not hyped up or nothing. No, I'm gonna stay level. I'm gonna be like, yeah, all right. <laughs> All you right. have not. Well, I did produced. not bring out my A level. Apparently, right. So this is one that we've had for a little while. Yep. So hopefully, I I don't know if I went bad. I can smell peppermint patty. Ooh. Oh my gosh. There's flavor. Oh my gosh. Wow, Mike. Uh, do you taste any flavor? Uh, I I taste slightly more. I can't even lie about it. There's way more <laughs> than this what we've had. Yeah. Wow. Is this taste good or Dude, what? Dude, I mean, <laughs> the aroma is. is Totally, like, it t- smells like a peppermint it's just like, patty. It's just like you're next to a Christmas tree that has a little. Well, it's like a little, peppermint patty, like you know the, the little. What's the little candy cane? Candy canes. Yeah, but doesn't this smell like a York peppermint patty? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it, is oh, that good? This is yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is the best beer we've had in two weeks, <laughs> and we we were gonna spoil this because we could have used this with our holiday special. We we, <laughs> what, we no. had to do something because <laughs> we couldn't end on these. Because wow. So is this one? I dug this one from deep in the bowels of my <laughs> of your fridge. fridge. If, this was like the only one that's left because we were out shopping a, recently, looking for the you know the Black Friday shopping. Yes, did not see this really. No, but this would just this would, is would good. you remake this? Would I make it again? If you took were the brewmaster. Oh yeah, I I I brew more than this one. Yeah, so this, how, is, this is good. You like this one? I like this one. Yeah, I think we could. I could drink a couple of these. Boy, you know, well, eight point two percent, very smooth. Oh, no, the no bad ad for taste. The peppermint flavor is not over the top. It's got I a mean, good aroma. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's it's not like how do you say it? Like you know, punch in the mouth. Right. Super strong peppermint. Definitely a peppermint flavor. But this, yeah, this is good. I like this, and it's a porter. You know, this this one. I don't. I can't say as I get like a lot of bourbon barrel flavor. No, it's not burned my throat but or anything the, like that. Uh, the it? peppermint kind of overpowers it. But when you see, you know, underneath the bourbon barrel, it says peppermint porter. Yeah, it definitely tastes like peppermint. Yes. It you looks, know, so I mean, this the is... only knock would be I don't get a bourbon flavor to it. But a lot of Lexington Brewing's beers don't really have a strong bourbon flavor to them, my opinion. This is a good beer. But it's like 8.2, so it's probably right at that threshold. Or if they put a little bit more or age it a little bit longer, it might have a little bit more bourbon flavor. That could be, yes. But I think for the average craft beer drinker, if they wanted to drink something like this, this would be a good... They could drink this. Yeah. Because it's, it's not super boozy flavor. Right. You know what I mean? And for the, the peppermint <laughs> puts you in the mood for the holidays. Yes. Not like... The peach, holiday cheer? Not like peaches. <laughs> yeah. This is... You know? I, I think we talked about before... This is you don't find many beers that have this flavor, right? Peppermint, uh, uh-uh. not and like this. I'm gonna want I want you to go first now and give us a score on this one, since since we've been struggling to hit a two with this whole group. I'm gonna. Uh, are you going out on a limb? Well, I'm not on a limb, but oh, you. I'm I'm gonna go three point nine just because. Wow, that's ama- That's amazing. Just because I think. If it had that little bit of a bourbon flavor to it, yep. it would have been a four. Okay. I love the amount of peppermint that's in it. It's not over the top. Right. But you definitely get a peppermint flavor. Yep. For a porter, this is a very good porter. You know, it's not as strong as a stout, typically. Yep. You know, it's a porter. But like I said, it has some, it could be improved on, but yep. not all that much, so to speak. I, yeah, I like it. Okay. 
All right. I, I definitely, the Brewmaster got this well crafted. Yep. I mean, because I know a lot of the other Lexington brewery beers we've had from them, they've always seemed like they've got a good mixture of whatever they're brewing, the flavor comes out. Yep. So this is, I mean, another, gosh, this, this is going to be a three-run homer. This is this is right up there. I mean, this is a good. I would I would recommend this to every non craft beer brewer or drinker. Yep. I mean, this is really because it's. I mean, there's no bad aftertaste. The finish is smooth. It's really you know almost like at Christmas time if you're gonna be drinking beer. Yep. I'd drink us drink a six pack of this long with your to your family wherever you're going. Well, you this know, would be perfect. Eight point two is not super high alcohol. Right. It doesn't taste like alcohol. Nope. And again, like it's I said, so smooth. Like I said, you know, I'd like to. I would have personally liked a little bit more of a bourbon flavor, but this is probably the best peppermint flavor I've ever tasted. Right, because you know what I mean. So oh, yeah, it's far. it's a good beer. I mean, I'm gonna up the ante. I'm gonna go a four point oh. Dang, there I'm, you go. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm right on the edge. Yep. Right, yeah, yep. we're. we're because well, like when I we said, talk about, I was, yeah, I told you, I was right there, yeah. you know. So, so how come my, our 4.0 there, and you add up all the other scores, doesn't even come up? They <laughs> probably don't add up to 4.0. <laughs> yeah. This is Boy. a tough, difficult past couple of weeks. If I had to recommend one, it's the, the uh, <laughs> peppermint porter we just had. That'd be the you one. Know, yeah, that'd be the only one. Yeah, it's, you know, it, I, I'm I, personally... I think you and I are both. I, I'm very disappointed in the Shiner box, and I hate to say because I don't. I don't like to talk bad about craft beer right. if I can help it, but it was just there was not flavor, and it was all especially these six were just they all, were the, all same. the same. Yeah, you know, and, without a doubt. Yeah. So even when, I mean, how do you get orange peel to taste like? Close. Well, how is that possible? How do you get orange peel to not taste like anything? You know, I mean, I mean, and a Hefeweizen to not taste like a wheat beer. Right. That's that's pretty impressive. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm glad that we did it. I'm glad right. we're done with it. And next week we'll be trying the Sam Adams, and I'll guarantee you that Sam Adams box has more flavor. I'm hopeful. just. Knock yes. on wood. Yep. You know, past track record, but I'm glad we did it. Yeah. You know, so we're we're good there. We're <laughs> and there was only <laughs> one of each in there. Yes. You don't have to do it. I don't have to try and pawn off two more of all of them to anybody. Right. Uh, Toby and Brian. Ooh. And BK. I couldn't uh, pawn them off on those guys. Yeah. Oh. We didn't we wouldn't have let them listen to this before we gave it to them. Yeah, because uh, that would <laughs> that's not good. No. So anyway, you know. Jim, thank you again for being a part of this. And like I said, I apologize. I I honestly thought this box was going to be good. Yes. I did. And it just was... It, oh, I can't even lie about it. The flavor, there was no flavor. For the most part, there really yeah. was not. There was the peach flavor. The peach had the most flavor. <laughs> right. And, and it just... But it was confusing because that was their holiday. holiday cheer and it was peach. It just doesn't... To me, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. doesn't like peppermint like Christmas. Correct. Next week, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to... Delve into the Sam Adams yes. Christmas box, which is six beers. Right. And then the week after that, the week, the Friday before Christmas, we are probably going to be doing... We might need some people to help us because there are some big <laughs> bottles. There's some big bottles. We have a can. We got some other beers, some higher octane ones. Yep. So we're getting back into our wheelhouse. Yeah, this... And... We kind yeah, of tripped, tripped on this couple of weeks. Yeah, well, it brought us, it brought, it grounded us. <laughs> that might be the way to say it. But yeah, we're we're going back to our wheelhouse, so to speak. And uh, so the, the the Friday before Christmas, we're going to have. They're not going to be all by the same brewery, right? But they're going to be bigger beers for the most part. A lot of stouts, and uh, it should be interesting. Yes, I'm really looking forward I'm to hoping. it. I'm looking forward to next week too for yeah. Sam Adams. I mean, well, how could you not? <laughs> You know, I mean, honestly, just a compare. We tried. We did. We really tried. And I hope we didn't offend anybody. Shiner, we didn't want to offend you. We just gave your honest, like we always say, there's not 
If, if you got a different opinion, beer, send it to us. Yeah, like I said, there's no wrong opinion because it's your opinion, and this is our opinion. And yeah, if you have other beers you want, would like us to try, we would love maybe to try we, them. Maybe we got you a know? bad batch. Maybe we, there's something out there that's yeah. that you that will like change our mind. It could be. I'm not holding my breath, but it could be. A benefit of the doubt. There you go. Okay. So, Jim, thank you so much. Yep. Again, we're in the... We're almost in the Christmas spirit. We're, we're, well, in, we're getting closer to Christmas. So, we, we you know, you're gonna, you, are you going to buy me a Christmas gift? Yeah, I know some... I know a Shiner. <laughs> well, back to show. <laughs> you, got, you know somebody's got some of these boxes <laughs> left? <laughs> They're trying to get rid of them cheap. <laughs> oh, man. Darn. <laughs> you asked. You shall receive. You shall receive. <laughs> Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much. And uh, like we always say, ladies and gentlemen, we hope your campfires are always warm and your beer is always cold. See ya. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Northwoods Beer Guy podcast. If you have a question, a comment, or a beer you'd like us to review, please feel free to send us a message at northwoodsbeerguy at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're on Untapped, look up Northwoods Beer Guy and send a friend request. Until next week, I hope all your campfires are warm and all your beer is cold.